In this video I will show you how to enter guitar music into Guitar Pro as standard music notation and create guitar tab with playable fingerings. Even if you cannot read one note of music you will still be able to use this process. One of my guitar students recently presented me with a piece of music in standard music notation and he asked me if I could write this out for him as a guitar tab. I came up with a solution so that he could do this for himself using Guitar Pro. As there are many guitarists out there who are unable to read music, I figured a YouTube video explaining how to convert standard music notation into guitar tab would be extremely helpful. Here is a short example of a piece of standard music notation that I will convert into guitar tab. If I create a new file in Guitar Pro by hitting Command N on a Mac, this is the default template. The first thing I will do is set the page view to screen horizontal. This allows me to work with one continual line of music. If working in page grid view, for example, the music jumps to a new line every few bars, which can be difficult to navigate when editing. Next, I will set the key signature by selecting this icon or hitting Command K. I will select the key of D major as you can see there are two sharps to match the music I am converting. I can set the time signature by clicking this icon here or hitting Command T. I will select 6 8 time. The tempo is not given on the music I am converting, so I will adjust this later when I play the track. As the piece of music I'm converting is a classical piece, I need to change the sound from overdriven guitar to classical guitar by selecting the track window and navigating to a classical guitar sound. I will also delete the text from the score in the information box. There are two separate voices that I need to notate, one for the bass notes and one for the melody notes. You can see in the music that some stems go up and some stems go down. I will enter the higher notes first by clicking the voice 1 button or hitting command 1. I need to enter a quaver as the first note, so I'll select the quaver from the note values in the left panel. If you don't know what a quaver looks like, you can see this from the picture. Alternatively, the plus and minus keys will scroll through the note values. I will now enter a D note on the staff. If you do not read music, use the arrow keys to move up and down until the box lands in the same place as on the music you are converting. I can now use the number keys to determine on which string this note is to be played. The strings are numbered from the highest to lowest, so the high E string is number 1. As you can see there is a red warning and fret minus 2 appears. This D note cannot be played on the high E string, so I'll select the B string by hitting number 2. The string number can be changed by highlighting the notes and hitting the up and down arrows whilst holding the option key on a Mac. I will leave this note as the third fret on the B string and then change this later if I need to adjust the fingering. The next note is an E note, or the top space if you do not read music. I can either click on the note or use the arrow keys to move around the staff. If I hit number 1 the open high E string appears. If I move right a couple of spaces by using the arrow keys, a red warning appears in bar 1. This is a warning of an incomplete bar as there are not enough notes to fill up that bar. I only want two notes in this bar so I need to click on bar in the menu and select pick up bar. I will now add the rest of the notes on the top line using the arrow keys and the number keys to select a suitable string. The high E string gives me a playable fingering for all the top notes. The final note is a dotted crotchet so I'll use the minus key to change the note value and hit the full stop key to add the dot. I can add the final rest by hitting the R key. The stems are all facing downward so I need to change this by selecting all notes via command A and right clicking. I will select note, design and stems direction up. Switch to voice 2 by clicking on voice 2 or hitting command 2. You can see that all voice 1 notes are now greyed out. I will select the D note or just under the staff if you do not read music and hit key 4. This adds the note on the D string in the guitar tap which gives a playable fingering when including the notes from voice 1. If I choose other strings via option up or option down, the strings are either in a position that is too high relative to the notes in voice 1, or the red warning appears telling me that the notes are unplayable on those strings. The B string is a good choice for the next note, so I'll hit the number 2 key. There are two notes in the final bar, so I'll add these onto the B string by hitting number 2, and the D string by hitting number 4. I can leave the final rest as it is already entered in voice 1. If I select multi voice by hitting the button in the left panel or by hitting Command M, all notes are now visible and I have created playable guitar tab. I can check how the music sounds by hitting Shift and the spacebar to play from the beginning. I can adjust the tempo if needed by clicking on the tempo marking, and once happy, I can hide this if I want by clicking Hide Automation. 
If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Bye for now.